Hi, boys and girls. For today's math lesson, we are going to play baseball multiplication. So if you log into Everyday Math or ABM, you're going to see this screen and you'll click on the one that says EM Games Online. Then you'll click on under third grade, the one that says baseball. Now, I said we were playing baseball multiplication, so we want to avoid these first three that are all addition. And we want to focus on the ones that say multiplication. This one is multiplication 1 through 10 facts, 1 through 12 facts, and multiplication by three numbers. We want the one today, multiplication 1 through 10 facts. Or if you like a challenge, you could do 1 through 12. But for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to do the one that says 1 through 10. So you're going to click on it, gives you a little description, and we're going to go ahead and get started. I like the color cream and orange. So that's my colors I'm going hey, to choose. Heavy hitters. Let's play baseball multiplication. Ready? Okay. Green gophers, batter up. Click the pitcher to get a pair of numbers. All right. So to start, we're going to click our pitcher to Multiply get a pair of numbers. Two numbers. Then enter your answer on the keypad and click OK. This hitting table will show you what kind of hit you got. Let's play ball. Okay, so I can see if I get a product of 1 through 24, I'm going to get a single. A 25 through 42 product gets me a double. 45 to 64 gets me a triple. And a 70 to 100 gets me a home run if my product equals that much. So I'm going to look at my problem here. I have 4 times 4. Ooh, now I know this is a perfect square. And I also know that 4 times 4 means 4 groups of 4. So I can add 4 times. I can add 4 4 times. And that's going to get me 16. So I know I'm going to get a single. Solid single. Okay, then I get to keep going until I have 3 strikes or 3 outs, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to click the picture again. All right, now I have nine times two. Ooh, I love the twos because anything times two is just the other number doubled. So nine doubled or nine plus nine is 18. Good hit. All right, let's keep going. I have six times three. All right, so I have six groups of three. So that'd be six plus six is 12 plus six is 18, another single. Good hit. Ooh, I love the tens and the twos. This is great. Remember, twos, anything multiplied by two is just the other number doubled, or anything multiplied by 10 is the other number with a zero at the end. So 10 doubled is 20, or two with a zero at the end is 20. Still a single, though, but I should get a run. Good hit. Okay, let's see what I get now. Ooh, eight times nine. Now, this one's a little bit harder, and if you have trouble with your math facts, remember to use some of your fact strategies to help you solve them, such as repeated addition, or in this case, I know 8 times 8 is 64, because I know my perfect squares really well, and I know 8 more than 64 is 72. So, six, 8 times 9 equals 72. That gets me a home run, which if I'm not mistaken, my bases are loaded, which means I got a grand slam. That one is out of here. I hope that when you play, you get oh, just no. as good. That oh, long fly ball was caught. You're out. All right. So I have my first out. Okay. Ooh, two times 10. We already had this one. This one was 20. Good hit. Okay, anything times 10, I love the tens. Anything times 10 is the other number with a zero at the end. So we have eight with a zero at the end would be 80. That's gonna get me a home run again. Bye bye, baseball. Already up to seven. Ooh, three times three, that's three groups of three. So three plus three is six, plus three is nine. A solid single. Oh. oh, no. That long fly ball was caught. You're out. All right, that's two outs. I only have one more out this inning. 
Ooh, okay, six times eight. So let's see, six times eight. Well, that's really close to five times eight. And I love my fives because I can count by fives really easily. So I know five times eight is 40. So that's just one more group of eight to get up to six times eight. So 40 plus eight is 48. All right, a triple. Oh, Sorry, laughed you out. Were thrown out. You're out. Now it's the computer's turn. Here's how many points the computer scored in this inning. Ooh, six is quite a few. That's the end of the first inning. Two more to go. Okay. Okay, green gophers, step up to the plate. We're still winning, so let's see if we can hold our lead this inning. All right, two times two, two doubled is four. A solid single. Ooh, eight times eight. I already knew this one because I know my perfect squares. I ate and I ate till I got sick on the floor. Eight times eight is 64. All right, a triple. Okay, next one. Ooh, times 10. That means we take our four and add a zero, 40. Good hitting, a double. We're doing pretty well. Five times nine. Well, I can count by fives nine times, and that's going to get me 45. All right, a triple. Oh, eight times one. Anything times one is just the other number, so it's definitely just eight. A solid single. Oh, you hit that well, but it's an out. Oh, man. You're out. All right, anything times one is the other number, so nine. A solid single. Anything times two is the other number doubled. So three plus three is six. Good hit. Anything times 10 is the other number with a zero at the end. Or anything times five, you just count by fives that many times. So it'd be 50. All right. A triple. Oh, no, uh -oh. that long fly ball was caught. You're out. All right, seven times eight, another kind of hard one. So seven times eight I know is really close to seven times seven, which is a perfect square. And I know seven times seven is 49. So it'd just be another group of seven. So 49 plus seven is 56. All right, a triple. Uh oh. Sorry, you were thrown out. You're out. Here's how many points the computer scored All right, in let's this see. inning. Six. All right, we're still winning. That's the end of the second inning. We're still winning by four. To go. Okay, Green Gophers, it's your turn at the plate. Okay, let's see if we can hold our lead for this last inning. All right, anything times two is the other number doubled, so that'd be 14. Good hit. Ooh, anything times five, I can just count by fives eight times. And if I do that, I would get 40. Good hitting, a double. Anything times five, I can count by fives again this many times. So five times six is 30. Good hitting, a double. Oh, oh no, out. that long fly ball was caught. You're out. Okay, two times six, that's two groups of six, or two sixes, which is 12. Good hit. Five times three, I can count by fives three times, or I can count by threes five times. Either way, I'm going to get 15. Good hit. Four times six, okay, four times six is really close to five times six, which I know is 30. So I would just subtract a group of six, and that's going to get me 24. Good hit. Another Sorry, out. Oh, you man. Were thrown out. Uh oh. Out. Innings almost over. OK, 
Okay, oh good. Nine times five, uh, that's nine fives or five nines. We're counting by fives nine times. Uh, so that would be 45. Oh, right. A Pretty good. One times four, anything times one is just the other number. A solid single. Four times three is four groups of three or 12. A solid single. Uh oh. Sorry. That Our was inning's a over. Fly. Easily caught for an out. You're out. Okay, let's see how many the computer how got. Many points the computer scored in this inning. Yes. Great game. Thanks for playing. Player one is the winner. All right, well, we beat the computer. I'm so excited. Um, I hope that when you do your practice today, which is playing baseball multiplication on everyday math games, I hope that you are able to beat the computer. And if you're, if you're not able to beat the computer, maybe you should play it again and see if you can beat the computer the next round. Or if this was too easy, try the um, multiplication 1 through 12 facts and make it a little more challenging for yourself. All right, good luck with your lesson today. Goodbye. Have a great day.